Hi, this is Ian from EssentialTennis.com. Welcome to this strategy session in which we're going to be talking about singles and specifically how to keep your opponents off the net. And I'd like to thank Bradley who posted this topic suggestion on the Essential Tennis Facebook page. Thank you, Bradley. So we're not going to play a whole lot of opponents that are consistently crashing into the net, but we will play opponents even in 2013 that love to come in and are quite good at it and have good volleys and have good overheads. So in order to combat an opponent like that, I'm, it sounds to me like Bradley has a specific in, uh, opponent in mind probably as he's asking this question, I've got three main suggestions for him. First of all, it's vital, Bradley, that you work on keeping your forehand and backhand ground strokes deep in the court, just during your general exchanges back and forth with this particular opponent who likes to come in. You know, a lot of people don't recognize how much space they have between the service line and the baseline. We actually have 18 feet of space. That's not a very good eight. There we go. 18 feet of space between the service line and the baseline. That's a lot of room. You know, a lot of times I feel like tennis players only consider shots that are like a foot from the baseline as being deep shots. But you know what? If you can keep the majority of your ground strokes halfway between the service line and the baseline, so kind of use this area that I've blacked out in the back of the courts, if you can keep the majority of your shots in that section of the courts, then that will go a really, really long ways to keeping your opponent off the net who likes to come in once the point has gotten established. Now it could be that they serve and volley a lot, or maybe they chip and charge off the return, and so this won't necessarily help, but it will help how frequently, it will help you keep them off the net during exchanges. You know, if you're hitting a lot of shots that land around the service line, then you're just giving them invitations to close in. So Bradley, my number one suggestion for you is to keep the ball deep in play during your exchanges back and forth. Now the second and third recommendation that I have for you is to work on the shots that are necessary once your opponent already gets up to the net. Let's say for example they have approached to your backhand side and so you're kind of put in this do or die situation where they're at the net, you know they're at the net and now you have to make something happen. You must work on your lob and on your passing shots specifically. Find a competitive or a cooperative drill in which you're put in the situation frequently and practice coming out on top when your opponent is going to be at the net. So that means working on your topspin and your backspin lob. It also means working on your down the line and sharp cross court passing shots. And that's something you should be working on on both your backhand and your forehand side both the passing shots and the lob. If your opponent knows that you don't like hitting either of those shots and they like coming into the net anyway, then you're just asking for a really frustrating match. So you must work on those shots and also remember work on the depth of your forehand and backhand ground strokes as well in those baseline exchanges. So Bradley, those are my top suggestions for you to be more successful against this type of player. Thank you so much for posting your question. I appreciate it. And if you're watching on YouTube right now, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a like or a thumbs up on YouTube. Also subscribe to Essential Tennis so that you can check out the rest of my strategy session videos as they become available. And if you'd like to be like Bradley, have your name up here and your question for me to answer, just leave that in the comments down below, no matter where you're watching, whether you're on EssentialTennis.com or YouTube.com. Leave your question about strategy and singles or doubles below, and I'll do my best to get to it. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and good luck with your tennis.